Greetings to everyone. Hope everyone is in pink of their health. This side shows the party, and I am a second year student pursuing BLLB honors from uh, MT Law School, Gwalior, Madhya Pradesh. And currently, I am working as a legal intern with Lexis and Company. So today, we are going to discuss a very significant and interesting topic for the uh, law students as well, and uh, for the common people as well. Uh, all the people who are working for the civil services or any uh, job uh, which which touches the field of law will find this topic relevant. So now, uh, the what is the topic? The topic name is the development of legal profession in India. So the legal profession forms an integral part of the judicial system, and the bar and the bench, bar and the bench forms an indispensable part of the judicial organization. The history of legal profession can be traced uh, two centuries ago. That is uh, in 1773 when the first act that was a regulating act was passed, and the Supreme Court was established at Fort William. Now, what is Fort William? Fort William means the territory of Calcutta, Kolkata. Okay, so now uh, what uh, what happened after that? So after that, the Charter Act of seventeen seventy four was passed. The Charter Act of seventeen seventy four uh, provided the provision that the legal practitioners can enroll in the su uh, Supreme Court and can plead on the behalf of their uh, part or behalf of the suitors. Now. Uh, what happened after that after that the cornwallis code of 1793 was passed cornwallis code of 1793 was passed in uh, of which regulation sixth mentions that uh, that any uh, any legal practitioner can be enrolled in the supreme courts uh, in, um, in, he may be hindu or the muslim why I said the Hindu and Muslim can also be enrolled because the uh, because the uh, before this court before the com commencement of the Cornwallis Court or before the co Cornwallis Court uh, 1793 came into force, only the people who belong to the Britain and the Ireland that is Irish people were enrolled as the advocate or attorneys. Now what happened after that? After that the uh, uh, High Court Act of 17, uh, 1861 came. Uh, so high court act of 1861 abolished all the supreme courts all the sada diwani alalas uh, whatever was there sada nizamat aladal adalat and it abolished all the kinds of courts and what it established it established the high courts in all the provinces now uh, the high court was established now that there was a need for the proper uh, uh, proper enrollment procedure for the advocates so the legal practitioner act came the legal practitioner act of uh, 1879 so the legal practitioner act of 1879 uh, provided for the provision that uh, the uh, that all the uh, provided for the provision and uh, provided the procedure for the enrollment of the uh, legal practitioners in the courts then the bar committee was formed then bar committee was formed in 1923 uh, under the chairmanship of edward chamler and it provided that there should be uh, the constitution or uh, there should be the constitution of a bar council at all india level so the indian bar council act was passed so the indian bar council act was passed and after that the bar council was constitu constituted uh, and then uh, the act also provided for the establishment of the uh, bar councils at every provincial level so after that the advocates act was passed according uh, which was passed according to the recommendations of the 84th law commission report so the advocates act was a very landmark act and it is very important for all the uh, students that uh, you have to uh, you have to keep the points of the uh, advocates act on your fingertips so the advocates act was passed it it was the act which uh, advocates act were, in which year advocates act, were, act was passed it was passed in the year of 1961 so the advocates act passed passed and it provided for the constitution of all india bar council i will reiterate it will <coughs> it provided for the provision of the constitution of all india bar council at the national level and the state bar councils at the provincial level then uh, it also provided the rules and the regulations of the functions of the all india bar council all in the first function uh, the uh, i will uh, i will uh, give you the some important functions of the all india bar council that was first function was that uh, uh, it has to promote the legal education in the nation second function was that it has to uh, prescribe the procedure for the enrollment of the advocates 
थर्ड फंक्शन वॉज इट हैज़ टू इट हैज़ टू ऑर्गेनाइज द बेविनास सेमिनार्स फॉर द प्रमोशन ऑफ द लीगल एजुकेशन सो डेट्स ऑल फॉर टुडे एंड थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग माई वीडियो डू कमेंट इन द कमेंट सेक्शन ऑल योर क्यूरीज एंड डोंट फॉर गेट टू प्रेस द बाईलाइकन एंड टू गेट द फर्दर अपडेट्स एंड प्लीज क्लिक द सब्सक्राइब बटन थैंक यू